In addition to cost and saving functions, we can also convert consumption function from its marginal version to its total function. And for that, what we need is a marginal consumption function, which is also known as the marginal propensity to consume. So this is the given marginal propensity to consume here. This is that function. And we are also given a certain condition in which uh, the consumption level is 420 units. And if the income is 16 units, definitely the income would be in some higher units because if 420 is the consumption, it should be less than the 16 units. So 420 should have some smaller units as compared to the income units. Now, this is that information which is given. We can find the uh, cost uh, consumption function here. Uh, the process for that would be very much straightforward. We will try to find out the marginal propensity to consume the integral. And for that, we have taken the integral with respect to y. This is smooth sailing for you because this is simply the integration by using the power rule and sum rule. Once we applied this, we got the indeterminate function because the small c, that is the arbitrary constant, is still present in it. Whereas on the left hand side, you can see that the consumption is a, a function of uh, income. And this is that expression that explains the relationship between the two variables. Now we can use that given condition that guided us that uh, if the income is 16 units, the consumption would be 420 units. Therefore, we are going to substitute this uh, condition. Here, uh, y is equal to 16. As you can see, we have written 16 instead of y. And on the right hand side of the equation, we are also going to write the same thing. 16 and 16 is substituted on the right hand side. And then we are going to solve this. The arbitrary constant now is definitized. It has a value of 20. And now we can substitute it back into its uh, rightest place. That is this place. And we get the total consumption function from where we have taken 20 as a common factor. That simplifies the whole expression. Now we have the cost function for which we uh, co consumption function for which the graph is plotted. Now since it is in definite form, as there is no arbitrary constant in it, this is the consumption function, which is a positively sloped function. You can see a magni uh, 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 zoom out version of it. Now whole of the graph is visible. Income is here on x-axis and consumption is dependent on income. That is consumption depends on income and it is on y-axis. This is the relationship between the two, which is a positive relationship. This is the cons uh, autonomous level of consumption, which is not at origin. Rather, it is slightly above the origin. And above that level, all of the consumption is induced with respect to y. So this consumption function is in accordance to our theory of the uh, consumption. So this is the consumption function that we developed simply by using the function which was total in nature. And using that information, we were able to convert the marginal propensity to consume function or the marginal consumption function into the total consumption function simply by using the integrals. Thank you.